Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another video. This is part two out of three total parts of all the fortune cards in Infinite Warfare Zombies Explained. So I'm going to go through 12 different fortune cards and their functions and show you gameplay and what they actually do. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first one is called Pimp Slap and basically every single zombie that you melee will instantly die. Now this does not work on boss zombies like Brute or anything or aliens but every zombie that you hit will die no matter what round the next one is ego trip and it increases the damage of headshots so if you shoot it with a starting pistol on like round 12 or something eventually it will die because you're dealing more damage towards the head than just like a normal gun on any other round the next one is reanimated and you basically instantly self revive yourself after going into last stand so as you guys are going to see, I go down and I get right back up right away. No one revives me, I just get up right away. The next one is turn code, and it's the next zombie that hits you becomes turned. Now this works for three activations, so you can do it for three zombies. For some reason when I was using it though, the zombies that I ended up turning turned some other zombies. So I ended up having like five turned zombies, which was pretty cool. And this is actually one of the challenges that you can do for zombies in Spaceland, where you can actually like achieve more zombie challenges. The next one is called On The Money and your team is rewarded with a cash multiplier for your accuracy. So if you're accurate, you're going to get more points for yourself and your team and it lasts for 2 minutes. The next one is Kaboom and you spawn a nuke power up so it's just like a nuke going off, nothing too crazy there. The next one is Atomic Massacre and you use the Eraser for multiplayer for 30 seconds with infinite ammo. So this, the Eraser is insanely good in multiplayer, probably the best specialist that you can use and it's really really good in zombies as well. The next one is called Scratch Post and you use the Claw for 30 seconds with infinite ammo. The Claw's out also really really good in multiplayer so that one's a great great thing to use as well. The next one is Payday, and you spawn a double money power up nearby, so basically it's just a double points, nothing too crazy there. The next one is Escape Route, and you instantly teleport to a random safe location on the map. So this one's kind of like anywhere but here, you can only use it once though, which kind of does suck. The next one is Two Team, and it says while the teammate nearest you has health, you'll be invulnerable. So as you can see here, there's like a little like electric current I guess going between me and another player now if I was to get hit I would be perfectly fine because I literally cannot take damage while this is activated which is really cool and it lasts for 30 total seconds and the last and final one is my favorite fortune card right now in zombies in general for infinite warfare and it is coupon clipper so basically your next purchase will cost you zero points so you can use this for pack a punching which i do all the time you can literally use it for whatever you want and it's super super good because you can buy whatever you want on the map for free so it's really great. What's what's better than getting stuff for free, you know what I mean? So anyways guys, this has been part 2 of the All Fortune Cards Explained series. Part 3 will be coming out probably sometime within the next couple days. I haven't really decided when I'm going to post that yet, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop it a like. I've been uploading videos at a different time to kind of see which one works better right now. So let me know what time you guys think I should upload videos down in the comments section. My name is Greg FPS and I'll see you all later. Peace.